new 2023 Giant Rain is now available for purchase in the United States and has been materially upgraded from the 2021 version that I've been riding for the past two years, but also comes in considerably more expensive than my 2021 model. Is this new bike worth buying? In order to decide, I wanted to take a closer look and see what the upgrade includes. The main improvement that caught my eye is the increase of the rear suspension travel to 160 millimeters from the 146 millimeters in the 2021 version. That's an improvement of 14 millimeters or about half an inch. The 2023 version also now comes with a flip chip, which allows you to custom set the frame for low, medium, and high settings corresponding to how slack you want the head tube angle, which now ranges between 63.5 and and 64.2 degrees. Additionally, the bike comes standard with a 29-inch front wheel, but you can now choose between a 27.5-inch and a 29-inch rear wheel. Going with a smaller 27.5-inch rear wheel is what they now call a mullet configuration. Giant states that the larger 29-inch option improves stability and rollover capabilities, while the 27.5-inch version delivers a more agile and snappier feel. And I would tend to agree. I think it's kind of cool that you can choose the rear wheel, but I think I'll stick with the 29-inch version that I'm very happy with. And lastly, the new Giant Rain now comes with a storage compartment within the down tube of the frame. It's a very handy improvement to store your spare tube and tools and get that weight off your backpack. Now let's take a look at the rain components. The Advanced Pro version comes with a carbon frame with the aforementioned 160 millimeters of rear travel. The fork is the Fox 38 Performance Elite with 170 millimeters of travel and the shocks the Fox Float X2 Performance Elite. The bike comes with a SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain, including the shifters, derailleur, cassette, chain, and crank. It comes with a Shimano SLX brakes and levers, and the front and rear rotors are 220 and 200 millimeters respectively. Overall, pretty much all the components most riders would want, and all this for a sticker price of 6,800 US dollars. And so now let's compare it to my current bike and see just how much of an upgrade we get in 2023. The first thing you'll notice is the 146 millimeters of rear suspension, a full 14 millimeters or about half an inch less than for 2023 rain. However, nearly all the remaining components are the same between these two model years. The 2021 Giant Rain Advanced Pro 1 also comes with a carbon frame Fox 38 performance forks with 170 millimeters of travel and Fox Float X2 performance shock. It also comes with a SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain, including the shifters, derailleur, cassette, chain, and crank. It comes with a Shimano SLX brakes and levers, and the front and rear rotors are both 203 millimeters. So the front rotor is slightly less than the 220 of the 2023 rain. However, I find my 2021 rain has plenty of stopping power, and I'm not sure the bigger rotor is necessary for most riders. The 2021 Giant Rain could be purchased for $5,750 US. So now let's compare the geometry between the two bikes. In my opinion, the geometry is one of the most important things to look at. You really need to match suitable frame geometry for the type of terrain you mostly ride. And for me, the terrain is generally steep, janky, downhill trails. So I'm looking for a slacker head tube angles, generally in the 64 to 65 degree range, and bike geometry for steep riding, and I'm willing to compromise some of its climbing capability. So to compare these two bikes, I've entered the geometry for both of them into the Geometry Geeks tables and present the results here. For this comparison, I have selected the values for the high flip chip settings for the 2023 Giant Frame, since for me the high setting is even more slack than my 2021 rain, and I couldn't imagine needing any more slack geometry. However, I expect the slacker settings would be suitable for downhill park type riding. What we see from the table is that the 2023 rain has 13 millimeters longer reach, which will make the bike feel a little bit bigger. The head tube angle is 0.4 degrees slacker, which will help it roll down even steeper terrain than a 2021 version. The seat tube angle is steeper by 2.6 degrees, which will help for climbing to stay more over top of your crank. The wheelbase is 24 millimeters longer, or about an inch. This, combined with the longer reach, might make the bike feel even bigger. So for me, where I'm about halfway between a small and a medium frame, this might make me look at the smaller frame size to compensate but you'll have to do a test ride to confirm this. The standover height is 15 millimeters lower, so that's helpful for me because I find my 2021 rain is a little bit high. And lastly, as mentioned before, the rear travel is 14 millimeters or about a half an inch more. This is a significant factor in considering the new rain, and so I'd like to elaborate. In my new bike video from two years ago, and in my new bike update video, I previously complained about the lack of sufficient rear travel. 
When a bike manufacturer creates an enduro caliber bike with 170 millimeters of front travel, it's very odd not to match it with a similar amount of rear travel. But the 2021 Rain came in with only 146 millimeters, and I compensated by adding a spacer to the shock, increasing the air pressure, and adding a cush core insert into the tire. I had frequently bottomed my rear suspension and was disturbed by the ringing of my rear wheel when I landed fairly modest drops. I suspect it was also a factor in both my numerous rear tire pinch flats and when I collapsed the rear wheel upon landing a fairly modest jump. Thankfully, this new 2023 Rain now comes with 160 millimeters of rear suspension, and that's a level that should solve all these suspension problems. Overall, I think the 2023 Giant Rain Advance Pro is an excellent bike, but it is now nearly $1,000 US more than the very similar model from 2021. I have no doubt that the 2023 Rain is better than the 2021 version, but is the greater rear suspension, the adjustable flip chip frame, the new internal frame storage, and the slightly larger brake rotors worth $1,000? Considering the overall increase in prices for nearly everything over the past two years, and bikes in particular, I'm thinking that for an enduro caliber mountain bike, the new Giant Rain is still the bike to buy in 2023. And if the $6,800 price of the Rain Advance Pro 1 model seems a little steep, then I would suggest you look into the aluminum frame version that comes with a Rock Shocks fork and shock and Shimano Deor drivetrain and can be had for $3,600 US, or nearly half of what the Advanced Pro model costs. That's an outstanding value. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.